keep on praying in the spirit. Keep on praying in the spirit at all times with all kinds of pain. I connect you to the glory of God. I connect you to prosperity. I connect you to matrimonial destiny. Whatever you are looking for, I connect you to them in the name of Jesus. For the people of God, keep on praying. Teachers to pray with Pastor Samuel Usagai. Seventeenth of July, two thousand and eleven, was a day to remember as excitement filled the air at the International Worship Center of Believers Ministries, Incorporated, situated at one five nine one six one Alpa Owina Evotubu Quarters, Pinning City, as families, members, friends, and well wishers celebrate this astounding man of God, Pastor Samuel. Osarome Osagai as we mark its 57th birthday on the 16th of July 2011. There were tributes, birthday wishes, special call from the children abroad and not forgetting an interesting part of the occasion, the making of the man of God. Wow! If you were not there, you missed a lot. Hmm. The ceremony climax with cutting of the birthday cake, giving of gifts, and members sowing seed to the life of the man of God. Sit back and enjoy this presentation. We will be right back. Okay, round of applause to the glory of Jesus Christ that we worship here, who has paid our daddy to see this day and for us all to celebrate. And now we'd like to step up the heat, step up the praise by inviting our brother from Church of God Mission, Pastor Cosmos, to do a lovely number, which is a birthday song to our daddy. Hallelujah. Everybody, I just want you to do like this. Everybody, a little bit. Come on now, instrumentalist, help me. <laughs> Happy birthday. Don't be afraid, play to you. Make it loud a little bit. Happy birthday to you. We do it again. Everybody do it with me. Happy birthday to you. I'll do it again. One more time, say. Happy birthday to you. Now listen to this part. For a dad that's so real. For a father that's so sweet. Just play. For a pastor. Just for us. You have done so very much. Listen, for a king, he's a king, spread by God. For a husband, just for mom. A father, for a father, just for three. Birthday to you. Now do a last verse for a bro. 
prophet over this house. You see your prophet? I have come to sing the song. You deserve so much more. Happy birthday to you. Everybody sing with me. Happy birthday to him. You can stand up and sing it to him together. Happy birthday to you. Sing it again. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You can point to him one more time. Say happy birthday. Tell him to you. If you appreciate this father of this house, say happy birthday to you. Be seated. Thank you very much. Told me two days ago that I was going to do this. Uh, I said, "Okay, I will continue to repeat what I've always said about our Father in the Lord, particularly what He has done to positively influence my life and what He has been doing to move this ministry forward." First and foremost, I've always said that people have always asked me. You live on campus, Ubo, and not the way from there. You come to Believers Ministries in the Kewan Road to worship. What is, what is really the problem? What is the matter there? I have not failed to let them know that few things I have found in him have always attracted me to this ministry, and it is my... <clears throat> it is my resolve. If God tarries, I will continue to worship here with my household till the end. Praise the Lord. Some of the attributes or traits of this man of God are one, his humility. I always said it. For those of you that have gone from one church to the other to see some men of God for one thing or the other, you will observe that you may not have found anyone as humble, as accessible, as plain, as, I know, as frank as our pastor Simon Sylvan. There is virtually no protocol if you want to see him. No protocol if he is not busy to, have, to, make, to meet with another appointment. He is very accessible. You can get there, he tells you from his heart what the situation is and cancel you as such. Moreover, I have come to realize too that he does not, each other, it doesn't matter who you are, even if you are a millionaire outside, and you come here and you expect that because of your position outside, you think that position will, will influence his preaching. He will tell you the naked truth. He will preach the naked truth. Whether you want to stay, you stay. If you want to go, you can go away. You see? He has been very blunt and very forthright. Thank you. And uh, I want to say, too, his counseling, his counsel have always influenced my lifestyle. For those of you who have always said it, I'm, I, now I can endure so many things. Now I can painstakingly listen to somebody even when things are not uh, good to my ears. They were all as a result of his counsel, his advice over these years. So gentlemen, uh, that is the little I want to say at the moment. So when I started 1992, 5th of December, till today, God has been so faithful. And one thing I have learned from daddy, is a selfless father. Selfless to a fault. Daddy is selfless, humble. So, <laughs> daddy has been a blessing to me 
to my entire family, and to ev every member of my family, even to the world at large. If I had been longing for this situation to really express myself about the love I have for our daddy, I'll continue from where Dr. Godala stopped. This is the only pastor I have seen that admits his imperfection. He has, he has said it several times that he's a human being and he makes mistakes. But please, instead of correcting him in the public, come to his office. How many pastors will do that, even members? So I appreciate you, Dad. Again, I have said to some people that I love God, but I love my pastor. If not, I have heard, I have been tempted to leave this church, but his love overwhelmed me and arrested me. That's why I'm still here. Otherwise, if I say make a talk, I go they talk, I go they talk, talk I go they talk, talk I talk, go they talk, talk, they go dark. Oh! The Lord. If I say, let me talk about him, I will take the whole of your day today. Because I know much concerning him, both in the church and at home. So I don't even know where to start from. Praise the Lord. When my father passed away, I needed someone to pastor me. God gave him to me as a pastor. I needed a good husband, a good husband, a very, very good husband, a wonderful husband. God gave him to me. I needed a father that will love the children. God gave him to us. What more can I say? He has pastored me. He has pastored the children. He's a caring father. He's a caring husband. He's a loving father. He's a giver. I don't know what to say. I pray that God will keep him for us in the name of Jesus. Can you join me to celebrate our papa in the house? Stand to your feet and give him an ovation. Can you shout? Can you say happy birthday? <laughs> If there is going to be marriage in heaven, I will choose to marry him again. Praise the Lord. When we were at... Uh Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Reverend Sam Osagai, I congratulate you. A man of God with distinction. May God bless you. You have served God, you have served your generation, and you continue to serve. May God who has given you another 12 months add another 12 months. These 12 months will be greater than ever before. May you make a mark and we look forward to an incredible testimony. I bless you and your family and the great assembly and assemblies that you preside over. In Jesus' name, happy birthday again. Thank you.
to say three more times. Mm. What am I hearing? Jean. What am I hearing? take it. But I know the spirit of God have never failed before. I was in Cape Town, South Africa. When I prayed for when stroke okay, I said in one minute, rise up. He never knew I was not in town. In South Africa. Matthew 15, verse 13. Read for me. Verse 13. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, And he answered and said, Every plant, Every plant, Which my heavenly father have not planted, Which my heavenly father have not planted, Shall be rooted out. Woo! Whatever was not planted in your life by God, Shall be rooted away. Amen. Shall be rooted away. Amen. Shall be rooted away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uti pasa kule kipo tu. Jen, Jen. When we were in Papa Yosho, you, you remember that woman that God healed. She was there. You don't know. But I tell you, your God is bigger than anything. Did you not read the bulletin? Wait, I'm sorry. The bulletin. The healing in the bulletin. That man that had cancer. God took away the evil cancer. The bad cancer that was condemned. And replaced it with a new one. I said, God will replace something new in your life. they said was bad in your life. God will replace it. Yes, Jen. Jen. Jen, you remember? You remember that man? That God healed the eyes in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Fathers and mothers. Brothers and sisters, join me with a loud ovation and with a clap of ring. Celebrate our Father in the Lord, the person of Bishop, Reverend Samia Osana. of you. The cake is divided into three segments. 
the five steps which signifies the height of the church, the Bible which signifies the word of God, and the image which represents her daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, join me put your hands together for a great high come of our time. At the spell of an icon, Daddy will call the cake. I C O N Icon. Please put your hands together for them. Breaking news. Go and shout for the Lord. Stop it the show What a thing, what a thing, what a wonderful thing That a God you cannot see Well that's how we need to go What a thing, what a wonderful thing What a thing We hope you enjoy this presentation Pastor Samuel Osarome Osagai Is indeed a blessed man Join us next year To celebrate our Papa in a more glorious way Until then We say bye bye And remain blessed Keep watching, teach us to pray. What I see, what I think, he said, Do you may not see every time you call my name? I will be there for you. What did he say? Do you may not see every time you call my name? I will be there for you. Keep on praying.